Hey everybody, Sky at the Hot Tub Store. Wanted to share this five-way test strips and how to read it. So take one strip out, close the lid so that you don't get water into the, the container. This spot here looks like it probably needs some balancing. So let's check it out. So we're gonna dip this test strip. One, two, two seconds, bring it out. What it's showing is, and we've already done some of the adjusting here. We've got quite a bit of chlorine in here. This first line or first pad is for bromine. Here at the hot tub store, we really don't recommend the use of bromine, but if you use bromine, you would be reading this line here. We recommend chlorine, and this is reading free chlorine in the water parts per million for this second tab. And we're just gonna line up where, where this reads. So this is pretty high. We've got quite a lot of chlorine in the water, maybe more than 10 parts per million somewhere between five and 10. We wanna be somewhere in the three to five parts per million of free chlorine. So this is very sanitized right now. And then the next is your alkalinity. And you know it wants to be somewhere in the 40 to 120 parts per million for alkalinity. And this one, you know, it's, it's somewhere between 80 and 120-ish. This next one is pH and we're still a little bit high. We wanna be somewhere between 7.2 and 7.8. I'm reading this is close to the, the 7.8, but somewhere between 7.8 and 8.4. And then finally, you've got your calcium hardness. And your calcium hardness is most important if you have a salt water system, you wanna be reading very low, somewhere between 25 and 75 parts per million for your calcium. If you have a non-salt water system, you can be somewhere between the 25 to 150 range. Um, and what we have here is a non-salt system and we're in the okay range. So anyway, that's how you read your test strips. Hopefully this has been helpful and we'll catch you on the next time.